The Roswell Flight Test Crew here at B&H in Midtown Manhattan. These guys are an online powerhouse selling photo and video gear, and now they're carrying drones. Let's go take a look at what they've got and see if they've got any advice for beginners. Right, so I'm back with Christian Dominic at B&H. How are you doing, Christian? Doing well. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. And we are here in their drone department. And I think it's really cool you have a drone department. Yes. Yeah, we're excited about it. It's fairly new for us and uh, you know, it's growing all the time. But of course, you started as a camera shop. You guys are gigantic in the industry. Would you say you're like an 800-pound gorilla or a 1,000-pound yeah. gorilla, 1,200 pounds? Let's say 1,200-pound gorilla. A 1,200-pound gorilla. That's gentle gorilla. But gentle. Friendly. A gently, giant, friendly gorilla. <laughs> we're all about customer service and we're about education for the uh, consumer and trying to get people the proper products that they're they're gonna love. So why don't we start by telling people a little bit about the history of B&H. B&H is a little over 40 years old now and always been in New York. Family owned operation and started out with electronics and film cameras and has blossomed into what you see now. So now when did you guys bring drones into the lineup and why? Since we're really photographically base have been forever and ever. Drones seem to be a natural fit. Almost all of them have a camera on this. Handheld camera is good, then a flying camera's got to be better, right? As long as you don't hit somebody. As long as it. you don't hit somebody. That is the downfall of Fly a flying camera. Fly safe, please. <laughs> yeah, anyway, once DJI kind of came out with a consumer-ready drone that was commercially viable, it made sense. DJI kind of brought it to the forefront for, for the masses, and uh, ever since then, We've been in it to win it, as they say. Yeah, absolutely. You guys don't just sell DJI. I've seen unique, all kinds oh, of different absolutely. companies. As more and more brands are, are coming aboard, and we even start carrying racing drones. It's not a good photo platform. It's a lot of fun. Well, it's a lot of fun, and it's a very exciting video platform, but um, every racer has a camera on it, and that seemed to make sense. You've got 70,000 square feet under the roof here, right? Yes, yeah. But you guys carry what? Seriously, half a million items? Getting close to the half a million all the time. Somewhere around 450 plus thousand individual line items. Some, I think, we're over 5,000 manufacturers now. Because yeah. I was going to say, I know for a fact you guys carry the free fly products, but I don't see an Alta back here. Absolutely. Yeah, it'd be very difficult to put one of everything under the roof. So just because we don't have one of everything of every brand on display doesn't mean we're guiding you into a particular sale. You know, our Salespeople actually do not work on commission, and they're here to guide the individual to his or her own needs. So whatever product works best for you is what works best for us. Can we test that? Let's do that. All right. So I'd like to learn to fly a drone. Which one of these should I get? All of them. No. Oh. I'm glad you want to fly a drone. Drones are a lot of fun. There's a lot to choose from. Really, Looks like it. Have you ever flown a drone before? No. There's a lot of good ways to get started. Buying a very expensive drone is not the way to get started. For the first time drone flyers, to get something like this. This is a drone simulator. This plugs right into your computer. Comes with a basic controller that's very similar to standard controllers. It's from a company called Real Flight. It's their drone edition. And you can crash this as many times as you want and never have to buy it again. Once you get a little more comfortable with the controls and how the aircraft operates and mm -hmm. that, then you start moving on to some other things. Now, most like this one? You can. Um, it wouldn't be my first choice. From software to hardware, not everyone wants to jump into a, a high-end camera drone like this, necessarily. I mean, you can. It's your money. But I would recommend maybe starting small because simulators are great, but there's not a lot of wind blowing inside there. There's different uh, conditions you have to consider of. I mean, even a little baby drone like this little guy, it's from HubSense, it's called the Spider. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a tiny little drone, it's easy to control, easy to fly, and you can smack it up against the wall or chase your cat with it or something, and you're not going to get in a whole lot of trouble. But now you're starting to play with real world physics, not just simulated physics. And that's kind of a nice way to get started. Outstanding. And by the way guys, as somebody who actually has flown a drone once or twice before, I have to say that is exactly the approach I always recommend. I don't know how many times I've met somebody in the street or at a show or something comes up to me and says, I really want to fly drones. And I, I walk them through exactly the same steps that you just did. Get a 40 or $50 little tiny drone that you can fly indoors, get a feel for it, have fun. And then when you have a little bit of stick time and, and you don't bump into all the furniture at home, then go out and get a platform. And you will see, it's, once you have that stick time experience, it's going to be so much easier to learn. Thank you.
<laughs> okay, so there. I've done all that. Good. Then do I get a big toy? Sure. Why Outstanding. Not? I know, you're dying to get yourself a big toy. So these are some of the best in the market in the price class. These are top sellers in the category. Mm -hmm. You know, we have Autel and DJI and 3DR and Unique. And they all offer something a little bit different and something very similar. What's similar about them is that the technology inside uh, makes even the beginner pilot feel like a pro. Because the software inside keeps these aircraft very, very stable. It helps the pilot help themselves. Very cool, very cool. Christian, thank you so much. It's been fun catching up with you and seeing you in your native environment. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. You so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, before I leave, I want to take a look around a little more because you've got a lot of cool stuff. We do. Let's go. So that was our visit to B&H. To keep up with the latest on drones, click subscribe now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Fly safe. If you've never flown a Seriously, drone Seriously, I've never flown a drone before. <laughs> yeah. I need help. I need lots of help. All these people seem to think I know something.